What's up everybody and welcome back to our Rescue 2 Everyday Heroes Let's Play campaign. Uh, last episode we dealt with some, some pretty big fires. Uh, this episode here uh, we got dispatch number 70 for us to deal with. And uh, looks like an electrical type fire so let's dispatch uh, the foam tender and let's dispatch light fire also I think those two uh, being dispatched should be good to handle this call I guess we'll find out when we get on scene how it's gonna go down so let's just speed up time here and uh, Leo's back all right I sped up the time pretty fast there as you guys saw as and we got another fire that came through it looks like another factory type fire to deal with it looks like Liquids are on fire. I don't even know what that means. Is, that, is there a tutorial for that one? I wonder if I missed something. We're going to have to dispatch uh, the foam for that one. And we'll dispatch the water tender. Um, when we get when we deal with this one first. Let's see what this is. I think this is a new one. I haven't seen something like this before. In. So let's... Well, maybe we have. Uh, I think we can just get the foam tender though. And he can shoot through the uh, fence here. But... Probably should call the electric company though and uh, have them deal with this. Would probably be. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it's unsuitable, huh? The foam tender can't deal with that. That is interesting. Um. Understood. All right, you deal with that. If you can, no, don't enter the vehicle. I lied. I didn't want you to. Can you grab a uh, fire extinguisher? Why can it not? That is interesting. It can't uh, can't deal with that. Yes. All right, you turn the switch off. Um, we're backing up traffic. Understood. All right, now the foam tender can move in. Um, which is interesting. It probably can't because that fire truck's sitting there. Um, Use the foam mixer. Yeah, use that foam mixer. That's not what I wanted, though. Don't do that. Grab a, uh, a, for, a fire extinguisher. <clears throat> and actually, don't grab a fire extinguisher. Return the tool to the fire. Uh, and grab a, uh, a hose. I want you to get a new fire extinguisher, though. Why didn't you grab a new fire extinguisher? Ay, 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 that's not good. That's not good. Can you grab the bush over here? And then let's have this guy connect to the, uh... To the hydrant there. Let's move this guy. And let's have him help extinguish if he can. Yeah, he can. That's good. So we'll have him help a little bit. It's a different tool than what he, sh he should be using. But... It got the job done. We probably should have called the water tender after realizing that, but it is what it is. Let's dispatch uh, the foam and the water, and let's move light also. I think that should be good. I don't think we're going to have to call in the medium fire truck for that. I don't see the uh, point. We'll speed up the time again. And uh, there we go. Those two are on scene. We, uh, we won't wait for... Well, let's see how far they are. Yeah, we're not going to wait for the water tender. It'll be fine. And then we uh, after this, we're going to have to go back to the fire station and check on Leo. I think he was a paramedic. So, oh. Actually, we probably should have called in the, uh, the fire, uh, the medium yeah. fire truck. But... Let's go. Let's get this up. Let's deal with that. And uh, let's have you pick up him. Let's have you, Pro, pick up that person over there. And uh, let's get him over here. And let's move this water tender. I don't know if we need it. 
And uh, we're gonna have to get the ambulance here. They didn't show a, uh, a situation with the uh, ambulance. So, you can return to the station. We'll have the uh, fire tender, or the foam tender return to the station as well. If they are not needed. Um, if any fires were to break out, we have fire personnel on scene anyhow. So we would be good. We're just waiting on the ambulance to arrive. And our uh, vehicle health is not not too well on, on these. So, I have to deal with that as well. I thought I uh, took care of that after last episode. Or one of the episodes recently, I thought I took care of that. But stuff happens and uh, ambulance should be uh, on scene now. Or just pulling up to the scene. Let's take a look around. There it is. So come on down. We got a couple of injuries here. Oh, he just ran him over. Huh. Whoa. That's a first. I have not seen that. Uh, we want the paramedic kit. And uh, you can treat your victim here. Yeah, administer treatment. That weird treatment that they administer. You could pick up that victim there. And oh, they didn't have to be taken away. Damn, we just ran. I can't believe we ran them over though. Alright, let's see. What's uh, at the station? Let's go here. Let's enter station one. And let's see what's going on here with our vehicles. Conditions good. Conditions good. Uh, we can't check on the condition of those guys because they're dispatched. But we can check on personnel. Uh, they are dispatched and they are dispatched. And some of these guys, they picked up talents. Um, no, we don't want you guys. If they pick, uh, they are dispatched. Dispatched. Leo here is not dispatched. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if he has a truck to go into. Leo. Which one's Leo? Is that Leo? Medium needs to have four, three anyhow. So that was not Leo anyhow. Well, let's go back to the personnel. Isaac is not dispatched. And uh, let's see, he has new talents, so what can he do? He could, he's an uh, extra firefighter air. I think that would be good. And... I like that one as well for him. Not really sure if that matters, but we all, what do you have that you can do? You have experience. I like the extra health. Um, I mean the first aid kit doesn't really do us much good. And plus to all firefighters. I like that one as well for him. I mean it's good to have some, some different stuff for everybody. Uh, actually, I wish I could go back and remove one of these talents. I would like. Hmm. Because I would like breaking down speed a lot to be higher. But it is what it is. We got our personnel upgraded. So, that's good. That is good for us. And, uh, we're just waiting on the next call out here. Oh, you know what we do need? Um, but we don't have, we gotta wait for the ambulance to get back. And we have a fire. Uh, we just did one like this. We will dispatch, uh, white and we will dispatch the water tender. Deal with that. And we'll have the times pick up a little bit. When we get back from this call out, we will deal with the, uh, the ambulance. Because we, uh, remember we trained on the defibrillator last episode and so or not last episode the last episode the episode before that one of those we uh we trained on the uh whatchamacallit on the uh defibrillator so i'm not really sure if i put that in the ambulance or not 
I tend not to put some of that stuff in there. Like I don't have the SCBA gear in any of the uh, fire trucks. So let's get this guy over here. Let's get the water tender over here. Obviously, water tender can't deal with any of the fire here until we get this door broken down, or I shouldn't say this door broken down, but the uh, yeah, he's got to break it down, and he can't deal with that. Let's have Miss Sharon here pick up the uh, the hose, though, so that way as soon as this guy turns off the uh, pro, turns off the uh, electric here, she can start her fire fading duties, and she's good. We'll do that, and it'll be out within no time at all. Like that. And then we're actually just going to dispatch these two to the other fire that we have that just came up. Since they are the closest, it just makes sense for them to re-divert. Unless one of them got away already. Or did they both? There's only the one. Where's the water tender at? I did dispatch water tender. Where is it at? It must be like right in there. And we just couldn't see him. I remember this mission. We took care of that. We took care of it a little bit different. We didn't have the water tender. Um, so that was a different. Let's move white in over here. And then. Uh, let's have these guys disembark. Have them open up the door. Actually we might need. Uh. We might need the foam tender, guys. We might need the foam tender. Let's pick up the foam mixer, though. Um, and then have it connect to the truck here. And then from there, we can... Uh, set up the foam mixer. And then let's have you grab a... Uh, an extinguisher and then you can connect it to there and then if you could pick up a portable that's how we're gonna do with this I think what we could have did was uh, I don't know if he could gra reach that might be too far might be too far he's extinguishing so that's good they're extinguishing that. I like that. I like that a lot. That's dealt with. Let's see if you guys can deal with this right over here. That's done. Let's, what about this one right here? That last haystack. That's why I put the uh, the foam mixer in the uh, water tender just because the water tender goes out on a lot of calls so it'll be good for them to have the uh, the machine so we're gonna let the light fire truck come back to the station so that way those guys can get some rest uh, we can deal with any repairs on that truck but we are going to check out the ambulance here and see what we need to do with that let's check out its condition is good we don't want the ambulance now. We oh, lights dispatch. That's right. Let's check out personnel here. Uh, she cannot. Oh, she's dispatch. Yeah, that's right. These guys are good, as they are all trained up. Let's see what you have. Ability to stabilize patients without tools. Uh, patient to hospital speed. I don't really care about that. That's not a big issue. Uh, extra success chance on defibrillator. I like that as well. I don't, I mean, carry and setup speed is not really a big, I mean, we don't allow, I usually have the firefighters handle carrying personnel. So let's go back to the ambulance here. And we don't have the tool. So let's purchase the um, defibrillator here. As you can see, we have plenty of money for it. So that's good. So let's put that in there and they can deal with that. And that's how we're going to deal with that. And let's see if anything else comes up in the meantime here. And we did get one. It looks like a... I'm not really sure what this is. 
We're gonna dispatch uh, kind of a lot here, I think. We're gonna grab. We're gonna enter the station here real fast. Check on the light fire truck. Make sure it is good. It actually is. It's not. It's not bad. So didn't really have to check on it, even though I did. You know, we're gonna dispatch the foam tender, light ambulance, and medium. Uh, that way we have fire firefighters on scene, we've got paramedics, and uh, the foam tender is basically like the water tender except we have foam capabilities, so it's kind of a pull plus for us, I was going to say a bonus, it's kind of, it is a bonus though also, it's a bonus plus. And I was just waiting for that last one to come in, and let's deal with whatever we got here, I'm not really sure what we're dealing with here, it looks like a different, uh, different type of mission, oh yeah. It looks like a auto shop. It looks like we have an injury inside, maybe. Uh, let's see if we can get the foam tender over here. Let's get the medium fire truck over here. Get the ambulance parked up over here. And then we'll have light kind of like on a standby type of situation. Actually, we could actually use two foam tenders. Or not two foam tenders, but uh, two foam mixers, I should say. We'll disembark these guys. Let's get these guys in... Actually, right over here. Alright, I see what's going on here. That's an issue. Um, actually, you guys get back in your vehicle. Get back in your vehicle. Uh, Mr. Ambulance, if you can come park over here. And uh, if you guys can come over here as well. And we'll have them deal with that. Why aren't you grabbing that? I don't understand. Um, alright, can you grab standpipe and pop it in over here and pop it in over there. Can you grab the foam mixer? Can you grab the divider? Can you put out anything? I don't understand why can't you put out anything. What is going on here? Can you guys clear out? Um, open that. I think that's just for the gate. To be honest. Or I'm not really sure what that was for. Oh, it was for a gate. Alright. Oh, hey. Just... No, no. Where you at? Come back. Oh my god, this fire is starting to really spread, guys. Um, oh, he's just handling that. That's good. Fire's really starting to spread. Yeah, let's have this guy connect to here. Why can't you deal with this fire? I don't understand. Do not understand. Alright. So that's set up that up right there. Uh, can you grab a fire extinguisher? If that's even possible. Can you connect? Can you, can you connect? You can't connect this tool to the... That's so weird. Why can't they connect that to there? I don't understand that. I don't understand what this thing's doing. Don't understand it. Alright, put this tool back. Return the tool to the vehicle. Can you deal with this? Can you pick up a portable? Whoops. A portable. And actually, we do have this victim. But he's not injured, so it's actually really good. So pick him up and uh, carry him over here. And. I guess connect this guy out of here and uh, try and deal with the flames that are over here. Have you come here, pick up a portable, drop the victim, then grab a uh, portable. Well, don't stop. Yeah, there we go. So this was definitely not the right way to deal with this, which is disappointing that I flubbered this one up like I have. But, 
And I'm not really sure where we can connect. We're not going to be able to get water for this white fire truck either. There isn't a hydrant nearby. At least not one that I'm seeing. I'm not seeing one around that it could connect to. So that's going to be an issue for us. But they sh these guys should be able to handle this over here. There's definitely no... No cause for concern, but the uh, fire truck now is out of water, so that'll be kind of an issue. Um, can you grab a new one? Can you grab a new one as well? Can you grab a portable as well? Why don't you keep doing this? I don't understand. Why do you just keep stopping? So can you... Uh, wait, why didn't you grab a, uh, a portable? I told you to grab a portable. Understood. I don't understand why he keeps stopping. Can yeah. you grab a portable? Mule is out of extinguishment. Why, why do we keep running out of extinguishment, guys? Come on! I don't understand why... Why do you keep stopping? It just uh, it amazes me. Who keep? Why do you keep running out of air? We're not gonna. We're not gonna make it. I just. I just know it. I just feel it. We're just not going to. Cause this guy keeps stopping, and I don't understand why. Let's see if he can help with the fires. Cause it is really spreading over here now. You gotta, you gotta put this away. We need to get, we need to get these guys back in to the truck. We need to get, we need to get, uh, which call it here. Disconnect that tool. I see that you're out of extinguishment, but hopefully, all right, let's try and extinguish. Let's see if this guy can help now. Now that the other guy's finally moving, doing there we go. Holy cow. Wow. That was not good. That was bad. Whew. Do not make my same mistakes, guys. Please do not make my same mistakes. So that is that for this episode, guys. Come back next time and I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Oh, I guess we will know. It's another story mission. And uh I guess you'll find out what it's all about when you come back. So thanks a lot for watching, guys.